This is my how to train dragon PowerPoint. Okay, so in the first few slides is the book section of it. Okay, on the left is some of the how to train dragon books that I've got at home. And on the right is Chris is a Cow with, well, of course, Toothless. And there are 12 books in total, but there are two secret ones. A Journal for Heroes, which is the red one up there, and the Incomplete Book of Dragons. This is the one that I've got for my house, so, yeah. Okay, now let's go back to the real stuff. Okay, so again, in the first, well, most of the slides are going to be the characters of all the How to Change Dragon movies. Okay, so species, Night Fury, name, Toothless. Well, Alpha slash King of the Hidden World, movies slash shows he appeared in, How to Change Dragon 1, 2, 3, Homecoming, Gift of the Night Fury, Dragons Close to the Edge, Dragons Rise of Burke and Dragons Defenders of Burke. Toothless is playful, inquisitive and intelligent. Toothless is more Hiccup's best friend than his pet. He's, he is extremely protective of his lacking soulmate. I will stop at nothing to guide him from all harm. As the last known specimen of the Night Fury species, Toothless is very special. Name Light Fury, well, Queen of the Hidden World. Movies such shows she appeared in, How to Train a Dragon Flea and Homecoming. Just like Night Furies, Light Furies are very intelligent and very elusive. They seem to be sociable towards other dragons, but highly aggressive towards humans. Light Furies are also seem to be more aggressive and are more willing to attack the Night Fury. Though this could be because the female Light Fury has had been first attacked by humans in the third movie. In the first film, when Astrid found Toothless, Toothless had been willing to attack, but he never charged a fireball. Name Hiccup Hollandus Haddock III. Well, Viking Chief of Old Burke, formerly, and on New Burke, currently. Movies such shows he appeared in How to Train Dragon 1, 2, 3, Homecoming, Gift of the Night Fury, Dragon's Rise to the Edge, Dragon's Rise of Burke, and Dragon's Defenders of Burke. Despite his physical shortcomings, Hiccup does his best to succeed as a Viking. He is intelligent and is constantly creating inventions for various uses throughout the first film, including a boiler launcher, a dragon's prosthetic tail and saddle, and a riding vest. However, he is much stronger than that. At first, however, Hiccup is obsessed with proving himself to the rest of his tribe by killing a dragon, like Toothless. Name Astrid Hobson, well, Chief Death of the Tribe, currently, and General of Old Burke, formerly. Movies that shows she fit in How to Train a Dragon 1, 2, 3, Homecoming, Gift of the Night Fury, Dragon's Rise to the Edge, Dragon's Defenders of Burke, and Dragon's Rise of Burke. Astrid is extremely smart, striking, and doubtful, and immensely individual, devoted to her cause, who used to be patriotic of the Viking ways until dragons became an integral part of work. Competitive by nature and highly dedicated, Astrid works hard to achieve her goals. In How to Train a Dragon, she pushed herself to become a better fighter. And last but not least, Stormfly. Species Dipping Nadder, well, only for the nightlights and secondary alpha if Toothless and Night Fury and all the kids go missing in that. The movies such shows she appeared in, How to Train a Dragon 1, 2, 3, Homecoming, Gift of the Night Fury, Dragon's Race to the Edge, Dragon's Defenders of Burke, and Dragon's Riders of Earth. Stormfly loves to have fun, but equally enjoys a deadly battle. She can suddenly raise with thousands of sharp spines that stutter her hide and tail and fling them with incredible accuracy. She's the perfect partner in combat. Even for a playful breed like an adult, she is particularly fun loving and competitive. Everything can be a game with Stormfly. Like what Hiccup said, this is Burke. It snows nine months out of the year and hails the other three. The food that grows here is tough and tasteless. The people that grow here are even more so. 
Three on the upsides are the pets. Well, other places have ponies or parrots. We have dragons. <laughs>